Welcome to Naresai Technologies. This is Ram Chandar. In this video, I am going to discuss one sample program on top of method references in Java language. In the last video, I told you what is method references in Java. Well, let me give a quick review. Method reference is a, a lost technique to provide implementation for functional interface in Java. And next one is method references always pointing or referencing a method which is implemented of an interface and next one is it is the easiest it is the easiest way of providing implementation for functional interface by writing less code and already i told you method references internally uses or uses are creating lambda expressions and these are method references is going to create four types of lambda expressions and one more way is this is the very important point actually method references always conveying or converting existing method logic as a implementation for functional interface and one very important point is very important point is the signature of existed method the signature of existed method should be same as functional interface functional interface method signature the signature of the existing method should be same as functional interface method signature otherwise we can't develop method references in java language so let me give you a, a small program on top of this concept just to go through that one now before uh, launching the program on top of the method reference so let me show you one point so this is a double colon this is what here double colon this we can called as technically called as method reference operator method reference operator so this is always helpful to create lambda internally and copy the existing method logic as a implementation for interface method copy the logic of existing method as a implementation of interface method so what is this meaning of this entire statement very simple concentrate i have one interface i am declared with one functional interface or annotated with one functional interface let me take one interface name as i in the interface i i have one method public void every method should be public abstract so public void m1 method this is a rule of interface i for this uh, method we should provide the implementation for this method we should provide the implementation means already we seen concrete a separate class by writing a separate class and implements m1 and the second one is by writing anonymous inner class and third one we see in lambdas now the fourth approach what is that method references how to write how to write c let me take one class one class like a one class like a and there is a method there is a method public void m1 already i told you system dot out dot println implementation for m1 of i already i told you the last point here the signature of the existing method before that let me concentrate fifth point method references always uses existing method logic as a implementation for m1 so whatever the logic which we have in this method like a test whatever the logic we have the method like a test that logic will be treated as implementation of m1 in interface i so whatever the operator double colon operator we used while developing the method references syntax that double colon internally creates a lambda that lambda is the implementation for m1 and whatever the logic which we have in this uh, test that logic will copy it into where m1 method nothing but uh, logic will be copied into where lambda so let me first write a syntax later in background logic i'm going to write here now i 
ओ बी जे इक्वल टू आई ओ बी जे इक्वल टू लेट मी टेक दिस मेथड इज स्टैटिक नाउ इर एम राइटिंग लाइक ए कॉलन कॉलन टेस्ट डोंट बॉदर अबाउट दिस सेंटेक्स वेरी सिंपल बिफोर राइटिंग दिस स्टेटमेंट देर इज नो रिलेशन बिटवीन इंटरफेस आई एंड क्लास ए देर इज नो रिलेशन बिटवीन दिस रूल एज वेल एज दिस लॉजिक both are independent then when they are become a dependent to each other once we writing this type of coding the meaning of this coding is very simple whatever the logic which we have in the test that logic become a implementation logic for i method i interface method like m1 one more time i am repeating whatever the syntax we written right side of the equal operator that syntax will copy the code of a test method uh, that code is the implementation for m1 of interface i so let me give one more way of explanation double colon operator internally creates double colon operator internally creates a lambda how it will creates a lambda very simple very simple observe here open and close the parenthesis and open and hyphen and greater than and this is one open and close the curly braces lambda what is this double colon operator will creates a lambda good this is the lambda and whatever the logic which we have in the test class copy that logic and pasted here copy the logic and pasted here so whatever the logic enter including with sop control c and control v yes one more time i'm repeating double colon operator will create the lambda expression as well as whatever the content which we have in the test method that content become a implementation for m1 method in interface i after writing this statement only we can say there is a relation between a and i if there is no writing of this statement if we are not writing this statement there is no relation between interface i as well as what class a now observe here especially fifth point method reference always uses existing method logic this is my existing method this logic will uses as a implementation for m1 method and method references internally creates lambdas yes what is that fourth point method references internally creates lambda expression yes this type of expression is going to create and one more thing what is the next one the signature of the existing method should be same as functional interface see here my interface m1 method return type is void here is also void and what is this method name method, method name may be different so that's me let me use the terminals instead of using the uh, terminology like a signature return type and number of uh, parameters number of type of um, order of parameters whatever it may be so here zero here is also zero here return type is void here is also return type is void so my existing method syntax is same as what here interface abstract method it should be mandatory okay now finally what happen method references is providing the implementation for functional interface how many lines are you writing just to one line in previous uh, versions of java we are going to write uh, five or six lines of code but here we are going to write only one line of code so this is the easiest way easiest way of providing implementation for what interface uh, i and uh, by writing what less code how many lines of code we written only one line of code everything is going to taken care by what here your method references only method references always pointing or referencing implementation of interface method c method reference always providing always referencing implementation of interface method now m1 is an method of a interface then now we are trying to create implementation for this m1 where exactly this m1 method is available here so this lambda always pointing to what here this uh, method only so this is called what exactly method reference this one 
always pointing to this method logic that logic will treat it as what your implementation for m1 method in interface i this is the smallest program to understand about method references in java language and still we have some points i told you here method references internally creates all type of four type of lambdas and we'll see more and more about this signature in next video and also we have a concept like uh, types of method references those things we will see in the next video i hope you understand the usage of method references and internals of method references for more videos please subscribe to the channel thank you